hit that like and subscribe button. Big Mom Daytona 500. Mike check one two one three one four. What's going on, y'all? It's the one and only Big Mom. We here. Another episode of That's Ridiculous. It's ridiculous out here. It's crazy out here, man. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. What's going on with y'all? So we here. What's, what's ridiculous out here? What's crazy out here right now? I'm going to tell y'all right now. What's trending? This whole uh, TikTok and Diddy situation is getting crazy, man. Like... It's kind of old news already. It already passed, but it's it's still trending though. I feel like that's just a distraction. It's just a distraction headline news, y'all. That's some ridiculous. That's ridiculous to me right now. That's some crazy stuff. Like I feel like it's a distraction. Like the reason why is because there's all kinds of other crazy stuff going on, man. Like you got this all this protesting going on like it's kind of goofy at these college campuses all these young adults and um and kids kids and young adults man they tr like protesting about free palestine man like but okay but back to the diddy situation man that it's all a distraction man y'all be careful man look stay woke big mom we here in daytona 500 but um yeah it's a distraction man so yeah that's uh, that's what's going on man distractions like there we go that that's it here we go that's ridiculous distractions man like don't let stuff distract you man y'all keep it moving you keep your head up and you keep it pushing kind words from the one and only big mom but um but yeah i feel like that this tiktok this tiktok situation this tiktok situation and um and uh yeah diddy but for starting off with the diddy situation man he, what's going on is you got these people put suing him. I already knew something wasn't right already. Like, come on now. Like, looking at Diddy, I know he's a family. He's a father. He has a family. He has a, he's a father. You know, he worked hard. He's he is who he is right now. He's a, a successful entrepreneur, man. He's he is who he is. But I'm gonna tell you right now, as a child, man, my mom told me like he was a he was a demon like he something ain't right like like how was he so successful when you know Tupac and um and Biggie gone his own partner gone man like gone like how how and you know it's kind of sketchy I don't want to say them type of speak them type of words or get into any of that but it's it's kind of sketch man and um and you know Hollywood, man. All that stuff is going on in Hollywood, man. It's like, you know, they always pick somebody to take the hit. like, But it's a distraction, man. The, the, these cops coming in to raid him, man. It, that's, man, I don't even want to talk about it. I'm kind of scared right now, man. I ain't even scared, man. I shoot, I walk by faith and not by sight. But um, listen, shoot, man. They, them cops and stuff, man. What He's in trouble for, he's going down for some deeper stuff. People think... Oh, he's out here like sexually harassing people. Well, them, you know, them rich people do that. It, that stuff is out here, man. But um, and you know, in Hollywood, man, you, I'm gonna tell you right now, you can make that decision, man. You can walk away. You can walk away. And these, and some of them people ain't walking away. They need that paycheck. They don't want to go back to working, a, living a normal life. They don't want to go back to it, so they stay and they do whatever them rich people is doing. And they, some of them people, they're not mentally there. Diddy been doing this stuff his whole life. And that some of these people that, that's coming in to his life and that he's helping out, some of them people ain't ready for that type of lifestyle. And, you know, and they see what they got to see and they do what they do just for that paycheck. And, and look, there was consequences, but, and you know, and they coming back trying to take more money from that man. Like, it's, that's sketchy. But I'm going to tell you right now, the reason why he's in trouble is because the whole camera situation, man. This dude is a rich entrepreneur, a billionaire. You know, he got like, what do you got? Like, Ciroc. He got Ciroc, man. He got Bad Boy Entertainment. You know, he worked with 
He worked with Biggie. That was his partner, man. Like he was a producer with him. Helped him write the music. Provided opportunities for Biggie. Like he, like it's crazy, man. Like he was doing it. Like he's well, he is. He is that dude. Like you know, he is what he is. But um, the problem is he's rich, man. And you know, some some of them rich guys, you know, they gotta take that hit. And you know, Diddy like prancing around, like I can't be touched, like blah blah blah, like. You know, you making yourself a target. Like I already knew something was right when he got that key to the city when he was dropping his his latest album. Like something wasn't right. Like I felt it. I was like, man, this dude about to something coming down on this dude. Like they coming for him. Like something just ain't right. But um, but the whole situation with these cameras, man. He's a rich dude, and come to find out, he got cameras in his house. Like he he know what people do. He know all these rich people. He know secrets about these people, man. That's what's going on. They after him because he know too much. He know too much, man. And shoot, man. And that that's what's going on. And and you know it's headline news and 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 it's a distraction. Like I don't know if y'all ever seen that movie Kingsman when uh that secret agent, you know the Kingsman, that was a secret agent like uh group, man, like an organization uh like like the CIA, like man, they out here doing these these impossible missions, man. But if you looked at the head boss, the the head Kingsman that the main character was working with, I forgot, I don't know all the main characters' names, but he was talking about, he was asking, like, what's all these newspapers behind you? And the newspapers were like, it was headline news. It's like movies put it right in your face, like, what's going on? Like, it was like, it was good, like, um, the World Cup, like, just crazy headline news. To distract you from crazy missions, like, like stuff was going on in the world, like, stopping crazy stuff from, like, literally trying to prevent the end of the world from happening. Like, they was out there doing the crazy missions, and that's what's actually going on behind the whole Diddy situation. Like, he's just a distraction. There's other crazy stuff going on in the world, like, and, and y'all gotta stay woke, you gotta stay on top of this type of stuff, man. Like, for real, that's ridiculous, man. It's ridiculous. It's crazy. It's crazy. And you know, like, and he know all this stuff. He know these people, man. It's the same stuff going on. Like, that, that whole situation with Jeffrey Epstein or Jeffrey Epstein or whatever. Like, he had all, he knew all these rich people, man. You know, secrets. He was um, filming people and they was throwing him under the bus because he knew too much, man. And he knew all these people, man. He was taking money from them. He was... He was finding stuff out, and this stuff happens, man. Like a lot of it, a lot of people been take taken out for this type of stuff, and I'm like, it's sketch out there, man. It's crazy, man. And um, yeah, Diddy, yeah, he shoot, man. Didn't they say the prince was up in his parties, man? You know, getting high and stuff, and all these people up in his house. So and you know he filming these people, man. You see all these agents went in there and raided his house, looking for stuff. What are they looking for? They say they're looking for uh, tapes of him sexually harassing people, but that's just nonsense, man. These is grown people going to his his parties. They already know what he up to. So what the heck are you? Why are you partaking in that type of activity? Even though if you want to boost in your career, what, what, you already know what he's about, so why are you doing it? Like, I don't get Crazy, man. But we here, we here, we here, Big Mom. Yeah, it's a distraction, man. It's it's nonsense, man. It's some nonsense. A distraction, bro. It is a distraction. It's like it's all corruption. It's it's stopping from stopping you from doing what you need to do in your life. For real. I'm I'm be I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. Just stay focused. Pray, man. Pray. Just pray. But um man, I don't, I don't know, man. Diddy like Hey man, you you cool man. He cool. He ain't going to jail or anything, man. Like, I hope no like them rich people don't try to take him out or anything. But uh, he cool man. Like, I don't want to talk bad because he made some music, man. He made an impact on the culture. Like, I don't want to talk bad on nobody. Like, I don't want like hear no evil, see no evil, speak no evil, man. Seriously, man. Like, like we ain't like. I don't want to talk bad on this man's name, but he is in some crazy nonsense. Like, who doesn't have secrets, man? We all have secrets. We all know stuff. 
We know that we done bad to other people. We know we know we got caught up in other situations and people don't know, man. We all got secrets, man. Like and it, it's so like it's like, but it sucks, man. It's crazy. That's scary, man. I feel bad for the man. I feel bad for that situation. But back to the the whole topic, which is ridiculous, is distractions. Distractions, y'all. It's stopping. It's it's just trying to stop us from focusing on what we need to do. You know, like what we need to focus on in our lives, man, our family, our income, our finances, like at the moment, just living our life at the moment. That's that's what's going on. So I hope you all focus and remain woke. But, you know, we got to let's talk about this topic, man. You know, that's headline news. And that's how I feel about it. That's how I feel about the situation. And to be honest, that is the situation. That's what's going on. Like, come on now. This man. Okay. Oh, what's sketchy about it was Jamie Foxx. What last year wasn't some stuff happening between Jamie Foxx? They said he, um, Jamie Foxx was bringing cameras to P Diddy's parties for years and filming all the activity. He knew all these secrets about rich people and them celebrities. And come to find out, he ended up in a coma. Wasn't there some controversy behind all that? Wasn't there some type of conspiracy behind that whole entire story? Like they, Jamie Foxx came back clone, like. There, there's always some truth behind a little secret, a little tale. But there's this, but it, but who knows he was cloned, but or who knows somebody got him sick. But Jamie Foxx is a little older, but um, but that's a healthy man, man. I know he takes care of his health because he's a celebrity. They got more money. They got access to different health care that average people do. Like that's facts, and so I'm like, I don't know, like I don't know. But there was a conspiracy saying, you know, like they got him, like because he was filming stuff, he was talking too much. And look what's happened to P. Diddy a year later. Like he filming stuff and knowing too much. Like he got, but then Jamie Foxx is in a coma. P. Diddy, he getting raided, people suing him for all this crazy, grown people suing him. Like, trying to get money from him. It's crazy, man. It's a scary situation. And, hey, man, I don't I don't pray that on nobody's life, man. That's just that's some sketchy stuff. But them rich people, they be on some weird stuff, man. Like, but I don't know. Hey, I don't, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> but, um, yeah, distraction, man. It's a distraction. Crazy stuff. But um, TikTok, here we go. Another distraction headline news, man. You got all these young adults and kids complaining about they need their money from TikTok and all this crazy stuff. Man, I'm going to tell you right now, if you're a good entrepreneur, listen, if you're a, if you're a really good entrepreneur, you don't need one platform. You don't need all your eggs in one basket. This is facts. If you are if you're so smart. If you're so smart, I know I understand TikTok is a big income for a lot of these young adults and kids. But I'm going to tell you right now, like, are you paying your taxes? Oh, like, I don't I'm about like I'm. there's all these people cheating, man. And it's crazy, man. They getting away with it. And there's people out here struggling and working very hard. Like, I'm one of them, man. I'm one of them, man. I'm working very hard. Not all of my bill. All of my money goes straight to my bills, man. And literally my craft, like right here, I don't got a penny in my name, bro. I've got more debt probably than the money that I've saved. But, you know, I have opportunities. You know, we still here. My bills are paid for. My rent is paid for for the, um, you know, for the, the next five months. My bills are paid for the next five months. And, you know, I, I continue to keep doing my best to keep bringing the money in. But, like, come on now. There's people out here cheating, bro. And the TikTok situation, I... The whole, they saying China spying, like, come on now, man. These apps, all these social media, man. Listen, man, I'm, I was born in 1992, man. What artificial intelligence and the internet was created, what was introduced to the public in 1999. I was there, man. I was raised throughout all of it. All these little new kids coming in and understand all these older, the generation before me, all the, those entrepreneurs started their own platforms and they got the public, you know, they introduced it to the public. And now look what social media is today. I've been there. I've seen it all, man. Like, literally, we had MySpace back in the day, man. Like, 
you know, shoot, I remember we having a pen pal back in the day, like on AOL, man, like Yahoo and stuff, man. We used to email people back in Germany. Man, I used to have a little pen pal back in Germany, man. Like, I don't even know. It might have been some dude in prison or something. I don't even know. Like, I'm eat or it might have been a bot or something. One of the first bots. But uh, who knows if I was actually had a pen pal. But in elementary, we had pen pals. We would email them back and forth. I don't know if we were emailing teachers or <laughs> they was making up stuff. But it was it was funny, but it was cool. You know, we thought it was real and stuff. Hey, who knows? <laughs> but, um, but um, yeah. And I remember MySpace. And then after MySpace, you had Facebook. And then Facebook, we had, like, Twitter. And then after Twitter, there was... All those other stuff, man. Like, I don't even know. There were so many of them. And then now, you know, we got TikTok. And it happens to be owned by China. Now, that is kind of sketchy. I thought the same thing when TikTok was introduced to the public. Like, a Chinese come, But China's already buying up a lot of stuff in America, man. And we, all, we owe all this debt to China. Like, so why does it matter? Why does it matter? Is the question. Like, people saying, like, oh... So I don't, I don't know. It might, <laughs> I really don't know what's going on behind the whole TikTok situation. It's a lot to it, to be honest with you. Who knows? It might be everything that I'm mentioning is the, the situation of TikTok. It might be China actually using that technology to spy on people, making sh- China see the rich people or, you know, rich people or see if, um, you know, some big tech person. Or maybe a politician's child or uh, some type of politician is using TikTok. And, you know, they they showing their everyday life going into work. And, or maybe they might not be doing that or they might be this, this, the t- TikTok. When you download these apps and you give permission to them to access your phone and all your data, to be honest with you, when you download these apps. And I hope you all know all that stuff that you accept in. And when you download these apps, that gives these companies permission to access everything that's going on in your phone. So that's what the whole problem, problem with TikTok is, is because China's a company that was introduced from China to the public. And that's what the problem is. And yes, that is very very dangerous, very dangerous. And somebody needs to put an end to that right away. Like, seriously, you don't like what if they do have t- some type of knowledge or um, some type of intel like that's some scary stuff. That's a scary situation. And there needs to be some type of cap or more regulations from companies from other countries um, public sizing their platforms onto the American public, even though it. I understand it's all propaganda, it's, it's control, and they're they're taking our rights, but come on, you gotta be serious, y'all, y'all gotta be serious, man, and, like, that's, this the world we're living in, and, shoot, they're already taking our privacy away, man, like, everything we do, everything we say, everything we do is being recorded, everything, oh, we all got, we have all this technology here, and it's listening, and it's, hey, it knows more of us than we know of ourselves, which is scary about it, like, and it's, um, it's the world we're living in, y'all, and, um, yeah, there needs to be some type of cap and regulations on TikTok, and I felt the same way with, um, the DJI drones, man, um, that's a Chinese company, man, and we got these drones flying in certain areas, man, like, I felt like, and you know, and it does have all that type of stuff, like, hey, we have access to all this video recording, I feel like, Everything that's being recorded on the DJI drone, even if you have your drone in the sky, I feel like all that data is being processed to China. And now they got like, they literally got all the footage of what particular areas look like if they happen to want to invade our country. Like, that's what I feel about the DJI drones. But it's cool technology. Like, who doesn't want to have their own drone, man? Like, who did? Like, that's cool access. About, oh, they're taking away, like, because I hear woke information on YouTube. I hear woke information on uh, on anywhere, man. You can download X. Like, if you want to look up some woke stuff, man, you can, man, you can see this stuff on Instagram, man. Like, come on now, bro. Like, come on now. You can see conspiracies anywhere, bro. Like, like come on now. There's other platforms, y'all. Like, come on, like, I mean, that shows me that a lot of these people is bots, man, or they just, 
they ain't good and they ain't really good entrepreneurs or artists if they say they're such creators or artists, man. Because a true a true artist doesn't need <laughs> a particular platform. Like you could just create, man. If you're a really good artist, you can create anything, man. You don't need TikTok. Come on now, like stay stay woke, y'all. Y'all got to be better than that, man. Stay better than that, man. All these complaints about that, like. And then, like, that's just a distraction. What's really going on in the world right now, y'all? There's a lot going on in the world. Some crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. But, y'all, stay woke on that. Stay woke. It's a distraction. But, yeah, y'all, it's crazy. Distractions and stuff out here is below. Like, we need to stop this, man. Like... Listen, if you're a good entrepreneur, man, y'all got this, man. You can use any other platform. Just do what you got to do or make stuff for yourself. Just a vent. Like, they said they need money and stuff, man. Oh, man, it's bad out here. It is bad. Like, I'm not hating or nothing. That's what's up, man. I don't, I never understood, like, how these, like, the, them people that be making all that money on their social media. But they're really good at they, what they do. That's what's up. And it's possible, man, you can make that one video that trends and it just goes everywhere. Daytona, 500. What's all distractions, man? I ain't distracting. We're going to stay woke. We're going to keep doing what we got to do. We're going to keep pushing, man. Because I, I know what real life is like. What, 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 real, what real life is like. And, and well, in my, in my feet, it's probably people obviously got whatever they got going on. But yeah, it's it's blow, man. It's blow TikTok, man. What are you talking about TikTok, man? That's goofy, man. That's so goofy, bro. Like let it go, man. Only way TikTok. Listen, the only way they can save TikTok or get rid of this this whatever is going on is if they sell if somebody buys tiktok out man if it's america if, it's, if some type of american or some type of american investor or whatever or mark zuckerberg buys out tiktok that's the only way tiktok will survive or do whatever it is doing but then that's not going to happen though it won't happen it won't happen the reason why is because it's you know it was created by like, you know people out in china man and um and it's a Chinese company, like for real. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, they ain't gonna hand over that hard drive. They ain't gonna hand the full keys over. They won't hand it over. I promise you that. They won't hand over all that data. Um, unless they, you know, they com create an American TikTok and then they got the main headquarters in China. I guess, like, they can do that. But I don't know, man. That's crazy, man. They should, like, don't be distracted, though, man. If y'all want to spread y'all's, uh, y'all woke news, man, like, shoot, man. Try applying for another job, man. Try applying for another position, man, or starting your own company or something, man, to be honest with you. Or if you, or, or just take it to another platform, man, or, you know, or find somebody that's creating their own social media platform and they talking numbers man maybe you can go into some type of deal and be one of their creators and help kick start it off man and you could be one of the main people on there man i don't know like you got to think like that like a lot of people don't think like that bro so like that's what's going on in america i guess so yeah we hear though tick Talking about TikTok and what else is going on, man? Like, it's a distraction, man. Y'all gotta keep pushing, bro. Now we got this. Um, we got these kids out here going crazy, protesting, man. Like, all these young adults and people protesting about free Palestine, man. That's some crazy stuff. That's some nonsense, bro. Like, Palestine been free, bro. What y'all talking about, bro? This stuff's been going on for years, man. And, they, and it's all of a sudden it's popular, and now people are able to see it. Like, and you got these kids that and that that don't know that, like they just kids, man. This stuff's been going on for years, y'all. Like, come on, you gotta be bigger and better than that. You gotta be greater than that. And I don't know what's going on. Like, 
what they protesting for and destroying stuff for again, once again, like for what? You're not proving nothing with that. That's a, uh, its own country. It's like Israel is its own place and they got to do what they got to do, man. And uh, like I'm and and when has it been cool to be anti-Semitic, man? Y'all being OK. I'm going to tell you right now, the definition of anti-Semitic, bro, is any type of hate, any type of negative action or word against the, you know, against Israel, man, against Jews, man. It's hate against Hebrews, man, Judaism, man, people who practice Judaism or whatever, man, like. That is a hate. That's anti-Semitic, bro. And and you, and you got these people out here spreading these flags, man. Free Palestine. Free all this. Like, come on now. Like, like I don't understand what's going on, bro. Like, they canceled Kanye for talking that stuff about Jews. And I'm serious. Like, come on now. If you talking about free Palestine, what does that even mean? What do you think that means? Like, you want to stand up against Israel. That's what that pretty much means. Like, that's what that means, pretty much. And I have no hate against Palestine, or I don't have no hate against any of the situation. What, whatever's going on, bro. Like, no hate. Like, seriously, man, I got Palestinian friends, man. I got Pakistani friends. I got friends from Afghanistan. Like, come on now. Like, what the heck? You got to, like, be bigger and better than that, man. Like, come on. I got friends from Jordan. Like, I knew people from Egypt. Like, come on now, bro. Like, I came. Up, I know these people, bro. Like, they happy. They good people, and they want to live their lives, man. Like, they ain't worried about all that. Like, it's bad. They they want. They worried about their families too, bro. And um, Palestine, man. Like, it's sad, bro. Like, them people being bullied, bro. Those is rebels out there, bro. They don't even have they really their own government, their own army, or their own military, and they're being bullied, bro. Like. Like they got rocks and and sticks, bro, and you got Israel got the 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 finest technology, man, the finest artillery weapons, man. Like they got all of it, bro. And you know, one person act up, shoot, is Israel firing twenty times harder, bro. So it's like, come on now, stop it, bro. And I know what's going on. All it is is. Once again, it's a distraction, y'all. What's really going on is they're trying to build all this new stuff out there. And like on, they're trying to expand Israel, man. They're trying to build more. They're trying to build, expand Jerusalem, bro. And they're trying to build these new um, churches and stuff, man. And what they really doing is they building what they want is they want to build more stuff, more land. They want more land for them white Jews, bro. That's what's really going on. And um, like... That's what's really going on. And the Palestinians are like, no, you can't have this land. You are already pushed this out already. Once you already pushed this out, like you already pushed this out. Like y'all was placed here after World War Two and y'all sitting now, you know, and now whatever the, the capital of the city is, um, Jerusalem, you know, and that just uh, like y'all and y'all people and y'all trying to expand more and do all this non corruption and stuff. So I feel like I'm gonna tell you right now, like it's a distraction, y'all. Like there is some corruption, there is some evil and wickedness going on out there, bro. Like it is, and there are some wicked people out there in that land, bro. But there is some good people. There's families there. They are, they they are happy. And it's beautiful there, man. And they and they, and they promote peace, and all religions are able to go there. And you know, and give praise to the Lord, and you know, and that's that's the best thing. That's all we need, and that's all we want. And it's peace there, bro. Like, but there are there are some corrupted people that might run that land. There, but there might be a couple, a few of them. But there are some good people there. There's families there, man. There's peace there, man. You're able to go there and travel there, man. And that's what we want, bro. Shoot, man. I'm gonna tell you right now. If you let Palestine go into there, like if you let Palestine. If you let Palestine run into Israel, bro, it's bad news, bro. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm going to tell you that right now. And come on now, y'all. Like, if y'all talking about free Palestine, like, which, America's been sending money to Israel for years, bro. Like, it's not new news, bro. We Those people been, was placed there during World War II, bro. 
And they rebuilt that land and they've been give, sending those people money and they've been in business with, with bro, it's come on now. Come on now, y'all. Stay woke. There's Jews everywhere. One of your friends might be Jewish, man. Come on now, y'all. What is what don't spread hate, y'all. Don't spread hate. Don't spread hate. And come on now, y'all. And and if you're gonna spread that news, don't forget about us. People of my skin color, don't forget about us. If you're gonna talk about freeing them people, don't forget about us, bro. We the main y'all they what they doing is they distract they uh it's it's sickening, bro. It's sick, bro. It's sick, bro. They it's sick, bro. It's kind of sick, bro. Don't don't like don't forget about the people here, bro. Like we are, we still being oppressed. Like seriously, man. Our people, like people of my skin color, bro. And I I get to see it firsthand, for real though. Like to be honest with you, I gotta see it because of my skin color. Even though I have no, I'm not into that type of stuff. But like it's crazy, man. And they they spreading this type of news and they. Is is blowed out here, bro. It's really blowed out here, bro. And they talking about gay rights and stuff. When it is, it's crazy, bro. It's it's crazy, man. It's it's insane, bro. They forgetting about the true people. They distracting you. They talking about they giving rights to all these other people, but they ain't giving rights back to the people of my skin color, bro. Like it, we still gotta see it. We still gotta grow through it, bro. And it's it's, it's insane, bro. They giving back to other people. And we still got to keep going what we got to go through. And it's real news and it's true facts. I'm so sorry to say it. And it's still happening. It's a, it's weird, bro. And they're and it, they putting us to the side, bro. Like, it's weird, bro. They're distracting you, bro. Like, it's weird, bro. And they're talking about free, yeah, free Palestine. That's some nonsense, bro. Stop it right now. Stop it, y'all. Please. Like, don't spread hate. Don't spread hate. But yeah, Palestine, man, yeah, they need their own land. They they need funding, bro. Shoot, they need their own type of border or whatever. Border patrol. They need their own airport, their own little area, bro. And yeah, is Israel needs to leave them alone and, and not bully them and stuff, bro. But they need to stop that hate right now, bro. They need to stop that hate right now. There needs to be some type of they need to get funding to both places, bro. But if you can't fund it, like it's like, yeah. But see, there's Palestinians that live in America, bro. So, and they giving them asylum here, bro. Or they giving them freedom here, bro. Like, come on now. So, I feel like they could send some money to Palestine in order for them to have their own secure government, bro. And then, there there you go. That, that solves the situation right there. That was put an end to that right there, right now. So, like, but yeah. Like, y'all need to stop the hate here, though. Come on now, y'all. It's a distraction. It's a distraction. It's crazy, man. Well, y'all want to know what's really going on in America, man? Look at, come on now, y'all. Look what's going on in America. They that's stu the student loan situation, man. Like, come on now, like y'all complaining about the United States sending all this money other countries and stuff man they complaining and complaining and they start nonsense on their own land here bro and they ain't even worried about the student loan situation bro like come on now y'all y'all stay woke man and and listen biden out here doing something for the people that's the number one thing he's doing for the people bro the number one thing doing for the people and people still complaining there's still nonsense and negativity being spread it bro this dude pretty much saying he's gonna abolish student loans, bro, and 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 it's gonna to continue to keep improving for the future, and people complaining about that, and that's the one thing that's going on here in America, like, and people ain't worried about that. They worried about stuff going, oh, stop sending, like they worried about the wrong stuff, bro. They worried about TikTok. They worried about all this other nonsense, bro. There's people out here struggling to have no student loans, bro. That can't, that don't have access to pay to pay their bills, bro. And and then we got Americans like worried about the wrong stuff, bro. They worried about the wrong stuff, man. Like, come on now, man. There's Americans like, and that's what America's built off of, man. Like, we all use level so it's a process of everything. They say if you go to college, it can help you. But I'm gonna tell you right now. College, man. Yeah, it's a penny pincher, 
But man, that's the economy we live in. Inflation, man. Like, I already understood inflation when I was a child, man. Like, prices ain't gonna stay the same. They gonna continue to keep rising. So I already understood the wave. I rode the wave, man. I rode the wave. So you gotta be beyond that. Some people don't understand it, man. When they see inflation, man, they freaking out, bro. They freaking out. Like, come on now, y'all. Like, stay woke. Like, inflation been there, bro. I already knew a pack of chips was gonna be $10 in the future. Like, come on now. They even made a movie called Idiocracy. That movie came out, like, back in 2000 and what? Five or something? Like, come on now, y'all. Y'all gotta say woke. They put it right in y'all's face, bro. Like, come on. Y'all worried about the wrong stuff. But student loans, man, that's there. That's the main... You need to stay on the, on top of that, man. What's going on here on your own? Like, like y'all worried about TikTok and all this other work. Nonsense, bro. Like, it's crazy, man. Like, free Palestine, man. Anti... That's some anti-Semitic nonsense, bro. Like, there's Palestinians that live here, bro. They got nice homes, bro. Living good, bro. They ain't going through no nonsense here, man, on America. And y'all talking about free Palestine. They're, they're, I know Palestinians that live in America, man. What the heck is wrong with people, bro? They tripping, man. But, yes, we need to send some money to them people and build for them. But what's really going on, they trying to expand Israel, man, they're trying to grow on to build on to Jerusalem, man, and and they're doing it the wrong way by you know, trying to exterminate people, bro, build, bully people and push them out, that's what's really going on, it's like some Avatar stuff, they they tearing stuff down and moving stuff out the way, bro, they blowing up apartments and they pushing people out and they running, so what you think that's going to be turned into, it's going to be a road some palm trees, some some, some beautiful apartments, Five years down the line, bro. That's what's really going on. And people complaining about that. I feel like that's a beautiful thing. But at the same time, it's the wrong thing. Because Israel's already been already hated. They already a tiny little speck. A little island compared to the surrounding countries. And, bro, like, they can get wiped off the map anytime they want, bro. But they can't, bro. So I'm going to tell you right now. Them people, they need to stay there, bro. Them people need to stay there, bro. There's a little piece. It's no peace there right now. They say, like, there. it's a little peace there right now, bro. But if you want full peace, Israel is everywhere. Every, it's, if, you got to stay well. Israel is everywhere, man. In Jerusalem, the people, we are here, man. We are here right now, bro. Like, we are here. We are spread throughout this the country, man. Those are just a certain amount of people who practice... Judaism that are on that land, but yeah, I feel like they need to be there. Those are those are those are families. Those are some people, some good people. It's, I I knew some mean Jews back in the day, but there I know some good ones too, bro. Like man, they man like, and I know some Hebrew Israelites who are Jews. I know some Ethiopians who are Jews. They're good people, bro. And that's some anti-Semitic stuff that they talking about free Palestine because I'm gonna tell you right now. It's it, look, I'm gonna tell you a. a an analogy, I guess, like, um, yeah, I'm gonna say an analogy, it's like, it's like here in America, white, like, the whole white and black situation, man, the white people don't want black people having, sometimes they don't want them having more than them, bro, or they don't want them on a living in a certain, certain type of neighborhood, bro, that's real facts, man, and that's what's going on out there, bro, to be, I'm going to keep y'all up. That's just, just I'm just telling y'all. I'm, this is true facts, man. That's what's really going on, bro. They, and they don't want them Palestinians running throughout it's, it's Jerusalem and Israel, man. That's what's going on, bro. And they like, no, no, no. You ain't going to be um, throwing whatever, shooting a bomb over here. You're sending terrorists over here. Like, no. They don't want that type of stuff out there, bro. And, like, they don't want that. And I don't want that either because Jerusalem and Israel is beautiful, man. Like, keep it peaceful. Keep it beautiful, man. Keep it what it is right now, bro. And, um, and, and, and if you, and if you let them people in there, bro, I'm gonna tell you right now, bro, 
it'll be bad news, bro. If you let them people come in there, that means you're going to allow Saudi Arabia and Iran to run up in Jerusalem and Israel, bro. And we don't want that to happen, bro. You don't want this, that to happen, bro. Just leave, leave it alone. And I feel like, you know, well, Palestine, they need, they, they need to just cut it off, man. Like, just let them not build a wall, but give them access to have a, like, promote their own people, like, help their people, man, like, build their neighborhoods back up and have a secure government, like, that's what we want, man, and allow those people to have their own passport, you know, they have their own rights, like, to, like, let them be who they be, bro, and don't, like, don't be bullying and trying to take over stuff, bro, like, that's bad news, and we, yes, we need to continue to keep sending money out to Israel and Jerusalem, as long as, the United States has keys to the most holy land in the world that where everything was started, where Jesus Christ has walked. Come on now, y'all. Like, stay woke, y'all. As long as America has ties to that type of land, bro, dude, hey, we cool, bro. We is cool, bro. Like, come on now, y'all. Y'all don't want y'all's houses blown up, bro. Y'all don't want y'all self, y'all don't want y'all's bank account closed turned off, y'all don't want to go living back in the cave days, man, y'all don't want to turn them computers off, you don't want to turn your internet off, bro, y'all don't want that to happen, bro, y'all don't want y'all's freedom and y'all's rights ripped away from you, so that's what y'all want, like, that's what y'all talking about, free Palestine, that's what y'all really want, like, that's what's really going on, you're being anti-Semitic, man, stop it, stop it right now, that's what you want, man. Because if, if if America cuts all access to Israel and Jerusalem off and all those people run up in there, that's the end of the world, bro. It's the end of the world, man. They're going to tear, they tear away history, man. They're going to tear up all that stuff, man. And we don't want that to happen, bro. We don't want that to happen, y'all. We don't want that to happen. And then all these people coming in with all their corruption like, oh, we own this land. We run this land. I'm going to tell you right now, just stop it. It's a distraction, y'all. Stay woke, man. Keep it pushing, man. You're like, for real, man. We, wanna, we want to we want, we keep Jerusalem and Israel protected right now from all corruption and evil. I'm going to tell you right now, hey, if you want to see some real peace in Jerusalem and Israel, man, keep it as it is. But if you want to see some real more, if you want to see more peace in Jerusalem and Israel, give African Americans... Some type of reparations, dual citizenship to Israel and Jerusalem. Give them, if they decide to want to see Israel or fly to Israel, let it be paid off. Let it be free. Give them land out there, man. That's where you'll see some peace. I'm going to tell you right now. All them people out there, their lives will change spiritually, man. I'm dead serious. That will that will bring peace to the Middle East. That will solve all corruption. I'm serious. All the families, all the Shiites, the Sunnis, all the Muslims, all them lands, all the evil out there. If you get let African Americans here on America, I'm gonna tell you right now, hey, there'll be peace all throughout the world, man. If that if there's some type of access to that land for African Americans just to be able to walk around there. Hey man, we already do, we already have passports, but we gotta pay for that type of stuff. We gotta get there, you know. People gotta pay, but if you just give people access to go there, man, it will change the world, man. It will change the world. But that'll be some real peace. That'll be some real peace. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'll change that situation. But yeah, y'all gotta stay woke. But that student loan situation, man, we, like, man, we, man, don't, hey, we, like, y'all stay woke, man. We're not on none of that, we're not on any of that type of stuff, man. We need to help America, we need to help each other. If you're American, hey, I know we're our own a starting country, but we only been here for a certain amount of years, bro, not, like, it hasn't been that long. It's been a long time, but it hasn't been that long. What's scary about it? Some of these other countries been around for years. Some of their governments been around for years, man. So, so it's like it's kind of weird. But um, but that could be a whole nother topic. But that's ridiculous. It's ridiculous.
keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. It's a distraction, man. But you gotta stay educated, man. You gotta stay woke on it. But you know, we here, we spreading the news, we setting, we spreading awareness, we spreading awareness, y'all. But um, yeah, it's ridiculous out here, man. It's ridiculous. But yeah, student loans, man. Student loans, man. But we can get into that, yeah, the Israel situation. It's a whole nother topic, man. But um, that's what some that's some real crazy stuff. What's going on? They trying to keep you from knowing what's going on, and that whole universal um music thing going on, man. Oh, that could be another topic, man. This dude, like, come on now, y'all. That could be another topic. But um, let's keep pushing now. We're talking about P Diddy. We're talking about TikTok. Hey, um, like it's crazy out here, y'all. TikTok. What else is going on? TikTok. I don't want no damn TikTok. Somebody asked me if I got a TikTok. Man, and females be always asking about Snapchat. That's another social media platform. Like, man, this stuff been around, man. Social. There's gonna probably be another social media platform coming around, bro. But I'm, I'm gonna tell you right now, Mark Zuckerberg, he's trying to take over, but ain't nobody on no Facebook. People still using Instagram. Instagram is more popular than Facebook. I'm gonna tell you that. But, but even though they're both the same thing now, but. But I'm going to tell you about Instagram more relevant than Facebook. i never been on Facebook. It's been years since I've been on Facebook. Even though you can, there's money there and people still use Facebook. But, nah, bruh. Not on champ. Not on champ. Not on it, champ. Not on it. Instagram. Instagram, yeah. Make sure y'all follow, man. Subscribe. Like, comment. Hit that, hit that subscribe button, y'all. Comment, man. Let me know. DM me, man. Let me know what I need to talk about. Let me know if y'all want to come on, man. But yeah, Big Mom, we here, y'all. We here, we here, we here, man. This is it. Another episode of That's Ridiculous, man. Distraction. Don't be distracted, man. To me, deep down, distraction means somebody like distracting you from what you need to do. Like, that's it. Somebody, that's where I come from. Like, it's like a <laughs> what do you call it? I don't even know what you call it, man. It's I don't even know. It's called a, it's like it's like a cupid shuffle, man. It's like a shuffle. It's like a shuffle. <laughs> That's it, like a shuffle. No, you shuffling. <laughs> like a yeah, that's, that's what a distraction is, man. And don't be distracted, man. It's like it's like you running, man. Or you know you're playing basketball, man. You got it's four seconds left. It's four seconds left, man. You down by two and you're going for that three, man. And you shoot the three, man. But you see this female over there, you know, she popping, she popping, she she bound to kiss to you, man. She and distract you. Like and you'll miss the shot. Now y'all done lost the game, man. You was distracted, man. Don't let that happen. You gotta keep it pushing, man. Like, don't worry about no TikTok, man. Don't worry about no TikTok. I got you know, people out here talking about, you know, the free Palestine. Man, these kids out here, man. Like, come on now. Y'all got to stay woke, man. It's so big going on, bro. Be bigger and better than that, bro. I don't know if he's these OT f or, or these, I don't even know if it's actors. Or it just, it, and it just might be these rich little kids, man, or these kids just running on in there, bro. Like, just relax, man. I don't, don't, it's just nonsense, man. Y'all stop it. What's really, what's sketchy, what's really sketchy, bro, it's 2024, and there hasn't been any type of campaigning commercial going on, bro. It's just been nonsense. Y'all say woke on that. Usually when it's election year, bro, all you see is commercials. All you see is commercials. You're flooded with commercials. More commercials, more nonsense than what you see as your a local election. More than local election campaigns, man. Like, come on now, y'all. Why isn't... And the only two popular people is Donald Trump and Joe Biden. We ain't no other Republicans out there. Like, or Democrats out there pushing like this. So, like, and when there's no commercials, nothing going on. All you see is the stuff on the news. That's the only campaigning you really see. It's the arguments between Democrat and Republican, and all you see is Donald Trump doing these sketchy rallies, like, and like that's come on now, y'all. Like, 
and shoot, I'm a fan of Donald Trump. Man, I've been a fan of Donald Trump since I was a kid, man. Like, like I'm a fan as in like a celebrity. Like he's a celebrity, and I'm a fan like as his, you know, as his like as his character. I'm, shoot, I'm a fan, man. Like, come on now, y'all. Like, I'm a fan, man. But all that other, oh my God, all that evilness and wickedness that comes with his his agenda, man. That's sketchy, bro. I don't like all that racism, prejudice type of stuff, man. You stay away from it. With all that bull, that BS, that <laughs> man, you better go over there and play with that shit somewhere else, man. <laughs> I ain't playing with that shit. I'm an American, man. I'm second and third generation American. I ain't worked hard to be here. We here, my family has worked hard. We every, all of my family. I'm, I'm speaking like, come on now, y'all. I don't want to hear none of that. Shit. Working hard too, man. Stop judging, man. Stop being racist and prejudiced. That's where we need to start, man. That's where we need to start, man. The people distracted by the wrong stuff, man. And the student loans, bro. Come on now, y'all. Student loans. Man, they abolishing them, but it's still some corruption behind that, y'all. Like, come on now, y'all. He, they pretty much saying you gotta pay into student loans. You gotta show some type of proof that you paid into student loans for the last five years or something like that. And you gotta be a pub. You gotta be in uh, your own, only career has to be in public service. Like, what the heck? Come on now. What the heck? Public service as a firefighter. Or, shoot, man. Firefighter or a cop, man. Or a, a nurse or a doctor. Like, what the heck? Or a teacher. Like, man, come on now, y'all. What the heck? That's some BS. Shoot, what about other people, man? What about us, us newer generations, man? Like, you just counting us out, bro. That's messed up, man. Like, come on now. I'm work I worked hard. Shoot, I already know what I got myself into. I'm glad I went to college, though. It's not because the world tell me to go to college. and because, oh, because it'll give you more. It does give you more access to get another job and access to get better careers and better equipment and do what you got to do. But, uh, but uh, come on now, y'all. Come on, man. Shoot. We hear it all. It's ridiculous, man. Student loans, man. Abolish them all, man. Get rid of them all, bro. I'm going to tell you right now, most, shoot, firefighters and a lot of them didn't go to college. A lot of them were, like, military. Or a lot of them, like, did, like, some type of program to get them into that, man. They did a program. Like, so what you mean abolish all their loans, student loans, man? Like, that's messed up, bro. Like, what the heck? And a lot of these teachers, I guess some of them don't fit, only like 50% of them qualify for the ball. Man, just get rid of them all. It's some nonsense, bro. And I'm going to tell you right now, a lot of African Americans ain't in these positions. Not the majority. The majority is Caucasian in these positions. I don't even say African Americans. I'm so sick of these these terminology, well, I guess it's terminology in the 20th and 21st century that you have to use to identify certain people and situations, but like, I understand all that, but man, it's messed up, bro. It's messed up, but no, I'm speaking facts, bro. So you pretty much, like, there's not a lot of black people, <laughs> like, and a lot of them didn't even go, go to college, so what are you talking about, bro? And whose loans are you abolishing? I feel like it's a lot of these rich people and they perpetrating like, oh, I paid, I, it's just some, you, I paid all my money for all my student loans. To be honest, they got more debt than the average American and they getting all their student loans abolished. I think that's what's really going on. Or the, and, and then, yes, a lot of people's student loans are being abolished. And I still haven't woken up. I still haven't heard nobody waking up and all that is gone yet. I haven't met nobody that said all their loans is gone yet. So something's still sketchy about it, bro. And it will be nice that they were all abolished. So that's what we need to be talking about, bro. And I'm about sick of all these rich people, all these concert. Uh, shoot, I'm a Republican. I don't even get into politics, man. To be honest, I'm just me. I'm Ramon. I'm my own. I'm my own agenda. I'm my own politician. Shoot, man. Come on, man. I'm, I'm my own party, man. Like, come on, now. I'm a team by myself, man. Shout out to Tim Forty, bro. Seriously, and if you want to be part of the, the team, man, join it. 
man, hit that subscribe button, man. Like, follow, and subscribe, man. Hit that like and subscribe button. Big Mom Daytona 500. Man, we can continue this conversation later. But, um, man, y'all make sure y'all follow, man. This is one and only Big Mom. That's another episode of That's Ridiculous. We're talking about distractions, man. Hey, this is one and only Big Mom. All right, y'all. That's ridiculous.